Good morning. Welcome to a uh, vlog as I head up to Kit Customs on this uh, wonderful and grey. Um, Jesus, that was close. Friday morning. And first of all, I want to set the scene about me filling up in uh, the petrol station this morning because it was not your everyday fuel stop and it was quite awkward, quite embarrassing. Round, not your average fill up. So I, I turn up, and uh, bearing in mind my car's on the red, it needs a lot of fuel, which takes a good 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how much you want to fill up. And especially when you get to the top and it cuts off, and you continue to click it until you reach the brim, which is what I tend to do. So I'm there about 10, 15 minutes. Uh, there's a huge queue behind where I'm filling up when everyone else is quite free flowing. Everyone putting 20, 30, 40 quid in, uh, paying at the pump and then going in um, and going. So everyone else's queue's moving freely. Mine, however, is moving very slowly and it's just backing up. There's about three cars behind and I think everyone was in a rush to get to work because uh, their thought is the quicker we get to work, the quicker we get to leave work. That's most people's thought on a Friday. So um, these guys eventually give up and they start queuing in a different queue. But the person from the back comes to the queue next to them and then everyone moves and the order gets changed. Honks, car honks start going, people are shouting, saying get back to the queue, blah, 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 blah. It creates an awkward scene between me, who's obviously the cause of this verbal fight, or horn fight, um, and um, everyone else is looking at these three cars, probably looking at my car in disgust as well, going, oh my god, that car is so unclean, uh, taking so long to fill up, and I bet he dumps it as soon as he leaves when he hits a tunnel, which is exactly true if you uh, saw my car at Tesco's. And um, I've got a tunnel in about a mile's time, so you'll probably see that I'm dumping a fair bit of fuel as I go through that. Um, anyway, so that's the first sort of awkward situation at the Tesco's fuel pump. I cause a bit of an argument, a bit of a fight between three cars that obviously want to get to work as quick as possible so that they can leave as quick as possible and enjoy their weekend. Awkward moment number two, how it happens inside the shop. As I'm going to pay, um, a woman comes in and is absolutely flabbergasted at how much money and how, mu how many litres this car holds in fuel, which I don't think this is a bad sort of fuel tank. I think it holds about 85 litres. Um, and can definitely go um, upwards of 110 pounds on the fuels on the fuel range or whatever. She's absolutely amazed and starts coming in talking to me about how much uh, car, how much fuel my car takes. Oh my god, I can't believe how much money you're spending on fuel. I was like, well, yeah, my car is uh, quite a big tank. I didn't really know what to say. It was quite an awkward moment, really, because she sort of not got up in my face, but she shouted. Um, which then sparked everyone else in the shop to then start talking to me about a moment that they've had seeing this car driving around Watford, driving around central London or driving between Watford and central London, which is fantastic because it shows that this car is recognisable and uh, appreciated by so many people. What was awkward though was 10 people were talking at me at once and then one person would finish their sentence or story whilst another person was still going on and I had to have one eye there, one eye there, uh, one ear there, one ear there. I really needed about 10 different mouths to answer everyone individually which um, it was difficult but it was funny at the same time and they were all sort of middle aged. I wasn't expecting them to be uh, big petrol heads or Audi RA fans or Iron Man fans for that matter. So it was just um, quite a, a weird situation, um, a, a, a very surreal situation, put it that way, for people to be uh, noticing the car on the road. But then again, how would you not notice this car on the road? It's red and gold, but not for much longer, because we're heading up to Kick uh, to have a look at some samples, and we're going to try and we're going to try and do something. Uh, whether we do something today, some slight cosmetic changes to the car, who knows? The last time I came up to kick, we changed the gold, uh, we changed the gold bonnet to red, uh, which was liked by a lot of people and also disliked by a few people. But again, that's what a car wrap does; it splits opinions. And um, we're just about to come up to the Hatfield Tunnel, so valves on. down a few gears. Actually, I'm going to leave it there. See what happens.
somehow my video camera turned off halfway through the tunnel. And that was a Hatfield tunnel as well. Oh, what? Damn it. What an absolute fail. Now, I was definitely talking to the camera before the tunnel. Whether that was on standby, whether it was recording, I'm not too sure, so I apologise if um, none of that footage comes out. <laughs> oh, damn. Anyway, that was um, about 10 seconds of the Hatfield Tunnel that you guys saw. Um, obviously, once I've finished filming for the day and I upload it to my video editing software, I'll be able to tell whether I was, was filming more of the tunnel, but um, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> We're about 30 minutes away from uh, Kit Customs and about 29 minutes away from McDonald's. But I'm not going there today. Definitely not going there today. Um, I've got my water, which will see me through. And um, yeah, definitely not McDonald's. magnetic field is being attracted to McDonald's and um, I'm pretty sure that it's on this roundabout and I just want to show how possible it is to not go to McDonald's there it is and I'm going this way willpower I don't know what is hey guys we have arrived at kit customs and there we go we've got a really nice uh, BMW 1M next to me and um, it's that time again so um, when I got the car and it was silver black wheels carbon looked amazing looked really classy um, and I was always going to wrap it and we had a great discussion I think the discussion probably lasted about a month on uh, what color I should wrap my car I probably got over 10,000 ideas all of them were amazing because the R8 looks good in so many colors and I've got Oh shit, again I'm going to have to, there we go, some colours here, some colours here, some colours here, and some colours here, and I'm not going around and going and some colours here, and some colours here, look, I've honestly got that many samples. So these guys, William Smith, Exis, uh, M3, APA, are sort of the reputable guys that um, do the, the best quality vinyls, uh, paint-like, if you, say, if you uh, would say. So there's so many different options, and I mean, I've, t I've, I've posted pictures of R8s in those colours. They look awesome. The blues, not that pink. Ignore the pink. Um, but then you get some really cool textured ones. Look at these ones. Let me try and get some of these ones these are brushed brushed um, chrome no brushed aluminium sorry so they're really cool and um, again the R8 looks so good I mean look at these glitter ones Jesus see if you can see them they look really cool as well so um, put your comments below on what you think this car should be wrapped um, at the moment it's red and gold I've done uh, a Photoshop of it black and gold, which looks really cool. I do like black and gold, but again, um, wrapping wrapping a car black just seems a bit funny, really. If you're going to wrap it, wrap it something crazy. Look at these camos as well. You can get camouflage. I have always wanted to create an invisible car, which um, would be really cool, but there's no one out there that sort of has the technology or 
don't really know how you'd go about creating an invisible car. But um, I want to do something unique again. The Iron Man was uh, fantastic, a lot of fun. Um, and I do, I do want to do something different that will uh, wow a lot of people and, and try and make it as unique as possible, something that hasn't been done before. So um, it is difficult because these samples are obviously sent out to lots of wrapping companies and then everyone can pick off the same sample sheet. So um, if you've got any suggestions on uh, what can be unique, then uh, again, let me know. We're gonna head inside with um, the wad of samples. I wish it was a wad of cash. Uh, we're gonna head inside, um, do, some discuss do some discussing, do some planning, uh, do some phoning around, trying to get some prices on some various materials that feature here, um, try and get um, some ideas on if there's any materials coming out that um, haven't come out yet that aren't on these samples. So um, yeah, we're down at Kit Customs discussing wrap number two. Unfortunately, there won't be any exterior um, cosmetic enhancements to my car today, which I thought might happen. Uh, we were looking at doing something with my brake calipers, which of course we're still looking to do, but unfortunately it's not gonna happen today. Um, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to wrap number two. So um, it's coming along. This is the start of the process. So um, definitely uh, stay tuned for what's to come with um, my car and wrap number two. And as I've just signed off, my hoodie has just been placed on the, my windscreen. I left my hoodie up here when the car got the bonnet rewrapped and the roof rewrapped in gold and the bonnet in red. So um, that was just after Gumball. So I'm finally reunited with um, my long lost hoodie. Yes. It's good to see you, pal. Back on the dashboard you go, and we're heading home now from uh, my morning out with uh, Kit Customs. And I think that's it for the vlog. I'm going to uh, head to the gym after when I get home, and then uh, continue doing work from home today as um, I fancy it. I'm wearing my hoodie, of, uh, I've been reunited with that. So this video blog, to summarise, has really just been uh, me telling you a story about um, how awkward it was filling my car up this morning. It then uh, went into going up to Kit Customs to have a look at some wrap samples, and um, my car could be wrapped within sort of the next two to three weeks, which um, I'm really looking forward to. And um, they're gonna have a lot more time on the car as well. Um, as I wanted it for Gumball uh, back in June, uh, it was really difficult for them to get it finished in time, but they managed it. Um, but obviously the wrap wasn't um, as perfect as they wanted to uh, release it at. So um, I'm looking forward to the next wrap. Um, definitely leave your suggestions as I'm gonna be uh, checking them out and trying to pick the best unique um, wrap. So I'm really looking forward to uh, reading your comments. Thank you for watching. And as I go around this roundabout, I'm going to go really slowly and hopefully you won't slide. Don't slide. Don't slide. Don't slide. Don't slide. Yes. That was good. Back into a normal speed now. So um, there you go. That is what happened on Friday, the 19th of September. Tomorrow I've got a really exciting day that I'm going to be vlogging with a few friends and there's going to be a lot of V8s in that video. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get that live Saturday evening um, and uh, yeah, I'm really excited about the weekend and then unfortunately the following weekend I, mo I probably won't be able to attend the Gumball meet in Manchester. I know that there's um, a lot of you guys have asked me whether I'll be able to attend it unfortunately. Um, someone in my family has um, an important birthday that I can't really miss, which is annoying. But um, maybe the next time I bring my car to a car meet, it will be wrapped in something crazy. So uh, that's sort of a, a, a silver lining, if you like, in the dark cloud that's in uh, the fact that I can't go to the Gumball meet. Um, so there you go. I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog and um, there's definitely going to be more to come over the weekend and I'm hopefully going to head into central London as well and do a bit of car spotting which um, is what the origin of the Supercars of London YouTube channel is all about so um, definitely going to try and do that but for, t for now I'm just going to be uh, getting used to wearing my hoodie again as uh, one of my favourites. I wore it twice and then left up a kick so it's going to be one of my favourites I know it. I just need to wear it more. 
Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you tomorrow for an exciting supercar V8 special. Cheers, guys.